Greetings, fellow traveler. Today, I want to remind you to say thank you to a very unexpected person, the narcissist, one of the many that you have come across in your life. Say thank you. They do you a huge service by showing you your power. Now, it's not always easy to accept that, and that's fine. <laughs> That's absolutely fine. I get it. But trust me, it is your human service. See, along our journey, a narcissist is like a rose bush. You go to the rose bush for the rose, the pretty thing. But underneath that rose, it's a hundredfold thorns. And that's usually what you end up receiving when you reach for that rose of a narcissist. You end up accumulating different wounds or you get blindsided by various different things that you didn't even realize was possible. I'm not saying it's only the narcissist's fault. No, it's ours as well. But through those experiences, we learn more about who we are and who we are not. And that is a true blessing. Because once we have that broader view, once we have that different perspective, once we have that different perspective, things start changing for us. You begin to see yourself more clear. You begin to appreciate yourself more. You begin to genuinely be relieved. Because then you know what struggles are yours, what struggles are not yours. Then you know how you want to move or proceed. You know for sure what you do not want. And it puts you more to what you do want. I'm out here walking, excuse the sweat, hey, I'm getting it. But I do want to remind you of these things. There's a, uh, there's something I learned as far as my interactions with people who have narcissistic tendencies, things of that sort. But one thing that I did learn, I read and I started paying attention to my body more. And I begin to understand that the body does keep the score. See, I would go around certain people, and I, I have been around them so much that I didn't realize that my body was telling me certain things. I would ignore the signs. Don't do that. Don't do that. Like, the signs are there. Trust what you feel. You can go around certain people, and you'll feel tension on your neck. Like it's something sitting right here on the top of your vertebrae. Be mindful of that. Because that's somebody's energy weighing you down. It's interesting. You go around others and you hear the phrase, I have a gut feeling. Yeah, your stomach can be unsettled. Or you can feel a knot. Trust it. It's your spirit communicating with you through your body. It's like, hey, pay attention to that. That's a warning sign. Uh, another one. Tightness in the chest. <laughs> Wait. That one right there. The tightness in the chest. It lets you know that you're you're holding something back. You're constricting something. Or possibly you're in in my case, making myself small. That's when I feel that tightness in the chest. See, once I became uh, aware of these things. I began to, to exercise what I understood now. Oh, I'm feeling that energy? Okay. Either I'll try to, not even try, I will change it, or by changing the environment or changing the direction of the conversation, or I will leave. And as soon as I step with the, with like within a certain range or outside a certain range of that energy field, I could breathe, I could loosen up, my shoulders drop, and it's like, man, I feel like a lineman when I'm talking to certain people. There's the wind. So, I'm saying these things to say, be mindful. Right, be mindful. Listen to your body. Trust yourself. Because you have more wisdom within you and around you than you could ever imagine. And we can get so used to ignoring those signs that we don't pay attention. Ah, don't trip on it. Don't beat yourself up. Say thank you. Thank you. Shout out to all the nurses out there. Appreciate you. Still don't welcome you, but I appreciate you. Because if it wasn't for you, 
I wouldn't be who I am today. With that said, be blessed. I'm gonna go out and enjoy some of this beautiful world that we're in. And please don't forget to smile.